In this video, I'm going to share with you the best defense for any and every under center formation in Madden 21. And specifically, we're going to talk about strong close and idle form close. We're going to basically defend both of them essentially the same way. Now, what's up, guys? My name is Cody. And if you're new to the channel and you haven't been here before, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player that they can become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. And in this video, we're talking specifically about how to stop under center formations. This is gonna to apply to single back as well as I form close, I form uh, strong close. We're gonna show um, a couple of things out of the single back uh, wide trips as well just because I want to go over a couple of the different types of runs that you might see from those sets. But the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to actually um, go ahead and set up our zone drops and we're just going to come out in this single back wide trips real quick. So I'm going to put a running back in the slot uh, just so that I can audible across and everything. But for your coaching adjustments, this is what I like to do. Anytime I'm facing any under center formation, I like to put my ball in air defense to play ball. My option defense is going to go to conservative. My flat zones are going to be on 30. My curl flats are going to be on 10. And my hook curls are going to be on 10. So this is kind of the coaching adjustments. Then what I'm going to do is I am going to set the cover four show two, the mic blitz three, all, of, and this is what my audibles look like from the nickel three, three, five wide formation. Now really quick before we go any farther, I do want to let you know that if you have not already gotten my nickel 335 defensive guide it's the best defense in the entire game we've been running it for exactly a year and we've been running it all season long including last year at the end of Madden 20 um, and i think it's going to continue to be the best defense in the game so if you have not gotten my nickel 335 wide defense and you want to learn exactly how i run it you can get all of the setups and all of the breakdowns in the uh, guide that I have linked down in the description of this video. But what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna go ahead and we're going to uh, put you know safeties at linebacker, put our corners across the board here, just so that we can have the best personnel possible. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna come out and you know, cover for a drop. And first things first, I wanna talk about specifically the run defense aspect of this. And what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna just go down to Mike Blitz 3. We're gonna put both of our outside linebackers in purple zones. Um, actually, you know what, honestly, we're just gonna run Mike Blitz 3 as is. So literally, we're just going to run it uh, as is with the seam flats, with the purples. And then all we're gonna do with our user is we're gonna shift our defensive line to the, the left here. And then we're gonna stand kind of right in here with our user. Now, if my opponent runs the 0-1 trap, you're gonna see that it's gonna kind of naturally blow it up. Now, I will tell you that for different formations, this will change. So for example, for wide trips, it's actually a little bit better if you stand right here with your user to blow the 0-1 trap up, and you'll see you'll be able to just come right through and blow it up with your user. Now, one little, one little nuance about single back wide trips that I do want to go over is if they playmaker the run, so you see it's going this way, if they playmaker the run to the left just like this, you see that there's not really a tell, um, and you're setting up your defense like this, I just want you to kind of see how this is going to work, you see that it's going to create a natural running lane. And so there is another way that you can uh, kind of handle this. Um, what you can do with your user is just simply put him in a quarterback spy. And what you're gonna do is at the snap of the ball, you're gonna hold left and right trigger. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I'm just gonna hold left and right trigger. You see that they won't target me. And as you can see, I'm able to just um, blow it up. Essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna strafe for just a second and basically mess up the targeting of the lineman. Okay, this is an easy way to stop the run. So again, stand kind of right in here. You might even wanna be a little bit over here. At the snap of the ball, I'm just gonna hold left trigger. And then as you see, I can kind of come in and fill the lane. Now right there, um, that backside of one trap is honestly probably the best way to run the trap. Um, now if you stand, let me just show you real quick. So if I stand here and they run a one trap on me, you'll see they're gonna pick me up. But normally, um, normally the defensive line will do the work for you out of single back wide trips. 
Um, but one last thing as far as it returns to the run is you could just pinch your defensive line just like this right here, and you'll see that that defensive tackle will almost always get an instant win, especially in regs. So, you know, you have that going for you. If you're worried that they'll, like, actually do some – some playmaking of this run, then you can just simply do that adjustment. As you can see here, I can just run right through. So you just want to shoot the gap, basically. Now, as far as I form close, uh, real quick, I just want to talk specifically about the runs. So, you know, of course, I didn't set my run, so I'm going to back out of here, and I'm going to come out in I form close now. And we're just going to go over power O. We're going to go over stretch. Uh, we're going to go over play action tight and leak, and then we're going to go over like ISO run. Most people don't, those are like the main runs people run. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna shift your defensive line to the to the right. If you wanna shift them this direction, you can, um, and like stand here with your user. The problem is if they run like a power O at you, um, you see that if they pick your user up, you're kind of screwed. So what I like to do, <coughs> excuse me, um, what I like to do is shift them to the right, just like this right here. And then if you want to, you can stand here with your user and you can also stand here. It's kind of up to you. And again, I'll typically put my user on a spy or a purple zone, uh, especially against under center. We'll talk about more about that why in just a moment. But you'll see now I'm able to kind of come in here and, and we basically are able to contain the power O run. The other thing that you can do is, let's say for example, they're running the, the stretch run, right? Um, same exact shoot. So you're just going to shoot right in here between the tackles and you'll see, and of course we weren't able to get through there, but typically you'll be able to. Um, one other little nuance that you can do specifically against like compressed eye form, stuff like this, is if you crash your defensive line back, so like back to where you came from, so I just crashed them to the left here, you'll see that this little gap is going to kind of open up a little bit more for us. You really want to use your linemen to basically stump them so that they essentially open up gaps for you. Now, I just want to show you what this looks like if we don't move the linemen at all. So if I don't move anyone, you see that the, the defense naturally kind of stops stretch. But the problem is uh, more in the, in the terms of like power O, um, stuff like that. So if I kind of stand like right in here, you'll see it's, it's kind of a tough it's kind of a tough thing to like actually blow up if you don't shift your defensive line. Now, if they run the ball to the left side, so we, we want to show this exact defense, but now let's say they run the ball to the left, all we're going to do is we're just going to run right through um, the A gap with our user. So essentially, if they run dive or if they run to the left, then we're just going to simply um, kind of fill our responsibility. So you'll see here, um, we're gonna kind of be like right here. So if I'm gonna go to power O and flip it, I'm just gonna go right through here. And you see that they sometimes will pick you up. The real trick to that, and it's hard to show with two controllers, the real trick to um, when they do something like that, because that's why, and that's why people will run, will actually tend to run power O weak side more than strong side. The real uh, trick to that is to strafe uh, at the snap. So if I'm strafing and then I go, You'll see I'll get a little, it's just hard to show with two controllers, but basically the, the, the guard will kind of dumb out and he won't guard you, or he won't like block you. We'll show you that one more time, and then we'll, we'll talk about pass defense from this formation. So again, let me just show you power O right there. That's more of what we're looking for. That's exactly what we're looking for right there. Um, so, and, and, and it might have to, and I might have actually, honestly, I might have actually shifted wrong. Let me do this. Let me do this kind of shoot. So again, right here, that's more of what we're looking for. So as you can see, you kind of can swoop in right through the middle, uh, just like that. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about uh, passing from this under center set. So if you think about it, majority of route combos, um, if I go to the play PA tight end leak, this is honestly the majority of route combos. You're gonna probably have a corner route to the tight end, you might have like a little motion or like a little um, like a little post maybe, and then you might have like a little drag, something like this, or you might have, you know, something like that right there. Um, you could even do that. Like, but the bottom line is you're gonna have maybe one or two routes that are gonna go over the middle and they're gonna flood the sideline. So what you wanna do with your user is you don't wanna give them time to flood. So essentially you're gonna stand kind of right here. You've crashed your defensive line out. 
and then what's going to happen is as soon as the ball is snapped you're just going to run right through the a gap and you see you're going to get instant pressure on the opponent and that's with the play action with the running back blocking now if they don't do that let's say for example um let's say for example they kind of do like a makeshift screen so you see here i'm kind of creating like a makeshift screen then you see here i can kind of set this up you know just like this kind of a scissor concept but if you look at the defense again um, what i would just simply advise is to bring this guy kind of like right in here if you do if you can get this guy to go kind of right in here or like even like right here would be fine and then what's going to happen is you're going to just continue to shoot right through you literally it's almost impossible to throw the ball literally almost impossible to throw the ball from this so then um, a couple of the workarounds for the offensive side so if i go to strong close uh strong close probably has better route combos so let me show you that if i can get over to it yeah so like this play right here this is one of noah up next's favorite concepts um essentially this play right here and what he likes to do is essentially wherever you shift the defensive line he's going to slide protect so he's going to slide protect he's going to ID your user he's got the ring back block right so it looks pretty solid the problem lies with again where your where the running back is in relation to where the quarterback is so because the running back is behind the quarterback if i can get in here before the running back you see that i have a pretty good shot and at least i have a shot at kind of damaging the throw the same is true for example from like a single back spread so let's say someone's running and you can also the cool part is you can do this from man and you can also do this from zone so let's say that let's say that they're running single back Y trips and they go with something like level switch, okay? So your job, again, you're setting this basic concept up. You might move this guy in just a little bit just so they kind of feel the, the presence of that middle third. If you want to, you can, um, again, you want to be strategic about this, but if you want to, you can put him into like a quarter zone or an inside third, or I mean, you can do all kinds of things, right? But what you'll get with this is really, really good quick coverage. And again, the pressure is coming right in at them. Really, really high pressure, as you can see. So it's not easy to beat this defense. It's actually ridiculously hard. Most people won't even try. Um, the cool part is you can also do the same thing for man. So I'm just going to shade coverage inside and shade coverage up. I'm putting the purple zone right here, crashing them out. And you see I get the same exact result from the pressure. So this is going to allow you to get instant pressure. And then if you really want to play uh, coverage defense against under center, you can. I just would recommend blitzing the crap out of them. But you see here, I can play coverage and then, you know, maybe do something along these lines right here. You know, this this coverage is really good for under center because under center is harder to, I just think it's all around harder to get the ball out. And just the, the sheds are crazy against under center this year. Um, so you don't have great pass protection and you can't get the ball out quick. So anyways, that is how I would recommend defending under center uh, formations, whether it be single back spread, I form tight, goal line. To me, they're all pretty much the same defense. You might change where you shift and where you shoot for the run, but other than that, you're gonna have a lot of success against under center with this defense. I wanna thank you for watching this video, and I wanna let you know about my true fan membership. If you're still watching this video, chances are you're really committed to getting yourself better at Madden 21. And so I just started out a new product launch that is gonna be not only good for Madden 21, but it's also gonna be good for Madden 22, and that's to become a true fan of the channel. And so every single week, what you'll get is you'll get um, a high level meta video that will basically break down an offensive meta update, a defensive meta update, and then you're also going to get a pro player, high level, in-depth analysis about what they're doing, why they're doing what they're doing, and maybe what they could have done a little bit better. So if you want to get access to that exclusive videos, they're only for my true fans. And to become a true fan, it's very simple. I'm going to leave a link in the description. You just click that link and you can become a true fan of the channel for simply five dollars a month so very affordable you're going to get the best of the best tips in the entire community i guarantee it you're getting 12 videos a month three videos a week that are super high level in depth and will go into detail on how you can become a better madden player so if you want to get access to that and you want to help support the channel that's the best way to do it thanks for watching this video and if you want to become a true fan you can do that by hitting that link in the description